In the previous segment, we talked about a brief classification of all the types of receptors that we have. And here we are starting with skin receptors. Skin as a sense organ is able to perceive various kinds of receptors or uh, stimuli rather. It can perceive touch, all types of touches. That means a gentle touch also, a little hard touch that is pressure kind of touch also. It can also detect temperature variations like warmer temperature, slightly cooler temperature. It can also detect pain whenever there is a prick or any such kind of pain. So skin has many, many different types of receptors. So we are going to classify them according to the stimulus which these skin receptors perceive. The first one that is the tango receptors and tango receptor word is used for the receptors which are responsible for detecting the stimuli of touch. Now here there are certain receptors on skin at different locations which are responsible for this perception of this touch. The first one is known as basket nerve ending. Now in all receptors which are on the skin, there is only one difference. The thing which is common is there is nerve ending and the nerve ending can be encapsulated, it can remain free. This is the different part. So everywhere there would be nerve fiber going and then towards the end, whether it is just the free nerve, it is making a network kind of a thing or it is encapsulated. That makes it a different kind of receptor. So basket nerve endings, as I have drawn the diagram here, this is the hair follicle that we are talking of. So hair follicle cup, this depression where the hair follicle fits in. So the nerve fibers, they surround this end part or the bulb part. So and that is why we say that the nerve basket is around the hair follicle. So these are simple nerve, network of nerves and they surround here. One thing which we have to remember is we are talking of sense organ. So all these nerves actually are sensory nerves. They are perceiving that stimulus and they have to take it to CNS. And after understanding the structure of neuron, we now know that it is the dendrite part which is receiving the stimulus. So though we use the term as nerve, these fibers which we are talking about, these are the dendrites of the neurons. So dendrites are long, they make a network around the hair follicle and they are going to take the stimulus to the CNS. So this is a sensory nerve and the dendrite part is making this basket or the network around the hair follicle. The second type of receptors, they are known as Mesner's corpuscles. They are in the dermis part and especially the more number of these Mesner's corpuscles is found on lips, fingertips and teeth. Here also this black thing which I have drawn is the nerve fiber again dendrite. And here also we can see this branching and it is surrounded by a connective tissue sheath. So in this case it was only the network of nerve. Here the nerve again a dendrite surrounded by a sheath and the sheath is of connective tissue. So this is the difference and they are responsible for perception of touch. The third one here are known as Marcus discs. These are in epidermis. In case of Mesner's corpuscles, they are little deep in the skin that is in dermis part. They are superficial that is in the epidermis part. Here also, the dendrites have branched and at the tip that is each ending, there is a disc-like structure and these discs are again made up of connective tissue. So these are connective tissue discs. So, in case of Markle's disc, as the name tells us, the ending of the nerve would have disc. The next one, again for touch, are known as Golgi mesoni corpuscles. Many a times they are written as only mesoni's corpuscles, but 
Golgi Mezzoni Scarpuscus, that is the more appropriate and the correct name given to it. They are found subcutaneous. Subcutaneous means just under the skin and specially in the zone of fingers. So most uh, of our fingers, they have these and that is how we are able to detect any kind of touch very easily. Here again, there is a nerve dendrite and in this case, we have a capsule, again made up of many layers of connective tissue sheath. So here this is a capsule. Only difference is in capsule, we have multiple layers, whereas in case of sheath, it is normally one or two layers of the tissue. So these all four are responsible for touch, perception of touch. The second type of receptors that we have on our skin are called thermoreceptors. And as the name tells us, they are responsible for detection of temperature. Now, we can detect a warmer temperature also and a colder one also. That means we have two types of receptors. One which can detect warmer and the other which can detect colder. And these are the two names given to them. Caloreceptors or they are also known as Raffinese endings. Caloreceptors are the ones which detect the warmer temperature and the temperature which they detect is in the range of 25 degrees celsius to 45 that is a warmer temperature here again there is nerve ending and these are dendrites and there is again a connective tissue sheath the difference is here the sheath was in the form of an oval structure here the sheath becomes a disc like flat structure number of caloreceptors in our body or on our skin varies from about 16,000 to 30,000. As compared to caloreceptors, the cold perceiving receptors, which are known as frigidoreceptors, their number is much, much higher. So frigidoreceptors, they detect the cold temperature and when we say cold, it is in the range of 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. So it is colder and caloreceptors are for warmer temperature. Frigidoreceptors are also known as end bulbs of Krauss, named after the scientist. And bulb term normally is given whenever there is some kind of a swollen structure. Here also, the dendrites are coil and long structures surrounded by again a capsule. Here, the number is much higher as compared to caloreceptors. It, caloreceptors, it is in thousands, like 16,000 to 30,000. Whereas, in case of frigidoreceptors, the number is normally from 1,50,000 to 2,50,000. Now, one more very important thing on which questions have been asked many a times in various competitive exams is ampulla of Lorenzini. This particular receptor is found at the fish snout. The tip part of the snout has these thermoreceptors. So ampulla of Lorenzini are actually thermoreceptors which are found on the fish snout. And especially fishes like scolludon, which is known as dogfish. So in case of such fishes, Ampule of Lorenzini is found, which is a thermoreceptor. So these are two types of receptors that we have talked of in skin. One, tango receptors, and the second category was thermoreceptors. Now we'll take up some more receptors which are found on the skin. The next receptor which we have on the skin are called Algaci receptors, and they are for perception of pain. These are actually free nerve endings which go into almost each and every part of the skin. So if we want to understand, say we draw this layer of cells and all these cells, they have to receive this nerve ending because there is no part of our skin where we are not able to detect pain. If we are uh, pricked anywhere then that pain is detected that means these nerve endings suppose this is the fiber then it branches and it goes almost in every cell 
and that is why we are able to detect it everywhere on our skin and as you can see here the number of these receptors is in millions because they are found everywhere on our body so this nerve fiber it branches and it goes everywhere on the skin now there is one special type of pain receptor which is called as noci receptor or the short form is noci receptor so noci receptor or noci receptors they are also for detection of the stimulus of pain but here the pain is really of higher intensity which we normally get after some kind of a major injury so then those are known as noci receptors or noci receptors so this is for pain and they are in deep epidermal layer so our epidermis is multi layered and in the deeper cells we have these endings the next ones are called pacinian corpuscles and they are specially pressure receptors they are stimulated by deep pressure one is simple touch for that we have those tango receptors but if you press it hard that is called pressure again it is a touch but with force so that is called pressure so they would be stimulated by pressure or vibrations these pacinian corpuscles also have a nerve fiber and this nerve fiber gets encapsulated by many layers of the connective tissue sheath so this is known as the capsule and this is the nerve ending so this is how the pacinian corpuscles are formed their number is also large about 5 lakh in our skin now these rio receptors they are for detection of water current they are found in fishes and tadpoles when we find that many fishes are swimming together they do not collide with each other when people human beings when we walk together with two three people around us in spite of having eyes and everything we bang on each other while walking but these fishes when they are swimming together they never bang on each other reason between the two fishes there is water and when the fish is coming closer to the other fish there is a change in the water current and that is detected by these lateral line organs which are found and the name is given lateral line organ suppose this is the fish so here all along the lateral line these organs would be present and they detect slightest change in that water current and that is why they never bang on each other so these are called rio receptors they are found in fishes and tadpoles because tadpoles are also aquatic so in these organisms we have a special type of receptors called rio receptors all these receptors they are found on the skin part and this is special because it is found only in fishes we don't have it but all other receptors which are on our skin so now in the next part we will take olfactory receptors